Hey there. Have you ever been given yarn and not known what to do with it? Or do you have yarn in your stash that you bought and not remember what you bought it for? Today, we're going to talk about using yarn that I have been given. So I'm gonna be making this beautiful coaster. And also we're gonna talk about making this beautiful hot pad. And you may not have as much yarn as I have or some other people have, but it's not a comparison and it's not, um, you know, a game of comparison. But sometimes you end up with yarn that you don't remember. Well, I have ended up with yarn that I honestly don't remember why I bought it or I bought a lot of it and now I can't return it. So it's sitting in my stash or you have people that give you yarn because they know that you crochet. For instance, this yarn is not my favorite yarn to work with. It's cotton Today's yarn. Today's project is making a granny square, but making the granny square into a coaster and also a hot pad. Talk about what you will need for this project. You are going to need 100% cotton yarn. If you use acrylic yarn and you put something hot on it, it will melt. So make sure that you have 100% cotton yarn for this project. You're also going to need a four millimeter hook and your scissors and a darning needle. So I am going to make a magic ring and I am going to double crochet in it. This is how I make all of my granny squares. I don't like the chin five and create a circle. I have had lots of little blankets that I've made that way that have come undone. So I prefer to make my magic ring for a granny square this way. I'm going to start with a chain two. And then I'm going to double crochet into this magic ring and double crochet again, chain one, and double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, chain one. So now you have two sets of three, I'm going to double crochet again three times. Chain one, pull the tail a little bit. Now I'm going to double crochet again three times. Chain one. Now I'm going to pull this tail tight and I am going to slip stitch into the top of that first chain one. So here you grab your yarn, pull it through that hole and pull it through this other loop. Okay. Now you're you've got a little circle there. I like to close the circle tight. I don't like the circle in the middle because I don't want it to pull through. Well, don't worry about your tail right now. We'll fix that in a little bit. So you're going to chain two and turn it. So now that you're on the back side, the reason that you turn your work when you're making a granny square is that you don't want it to be lopsided. By turning it, it creates a better square. So now that we've chained two, we're going to work a, in this hole right here created by your chain one, you're going to make a double crochet and another double crochet, chain one, and do that again. Three double crochet, one, two, three. So that's your corner. And now you're going to work into your other corner. So where you're going to double crochet, double crochet again, 
and double crochet for a third time, chain one, and then another three double crochet. One, two, three. So there's your second corner. So now we're gonna work our third corner. So again, one, two, three, chain one, and another three double crochet. One, two, three. For our final corner, we are going to work three double crochet. So there's this corner, so one, two, three, chain one. We're going to do three more. So one, two, three. Now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two. So work it in there, pull it through, and because the center part of my coaster only has two, we are gonna tie this off and we'll work in our ends. So now I'm going to fasten off. So I pull that through and with a pair of scissors, I am going to snip that and I am going to work in my tail. So. I'll, this little tip, I like tug mine a little tight, and that's closed off there. It's going to work in my ends. I like to work my ends in three times, so three different directions. So I'm going to take this top, uh, top I'm going to take this top piece that I fastened off, and I'm going to work it back down through my work. And I am going to work it through the back of these loops like this. And I find if you work it in through the fibers, it um, if you work it through the fibers, it, it grabs it a little better. So I'm going to work it back through the fibers and back the other direction. and then through just right here is fine. I'm gonna actually work it down to the center part here. All right, there we go. So now I'm going to cut that right there. And don't throw your yarn away. You can always use this as stuffing for any amigurumi that you're going to make. All right, now I'm gonna work this centerpiece. And I actually prefer working the centerpiece more than the other piece. And I will work it on this back side through here. So work it through the fibers. There. And there. And then pull back through here, through that. I don't know if you can see that where I'm working. White's a little bit harder to see. And I'm going to pull it back through there and through there again. So this really does work up really quickly. I'm going to snip that off. And now I am going to start my next round in the color. So because I ended off that this is the front side of the last stitch that I made, I'm actually going to start on the back side. So it looks just a little bit different. If you can see the stitches look different. If if this helps you remember, front, start, front side of the first side, back side of the second side. Now with this black yarn, I had to put this paper behind it because it was hard to see. So I am going to create a slip knot 
because I like to do it this way as it gives it a little gr grip and it holds your yarn in place. So I did a little slip knot on there, slip knot on there, and then I'm going to start in the corner. So I'm going to slip knot it on here and slip knot it through and then chain two. And again, we are creating a quarter, so we're going to do chain two and then two double crochets. So here's the third double crochet chain one and then another three double crochet and if you can tell I'm working that tail in underneath my work and we're going to go back and work that back in but I like to work it that way as I'm crocheting so here's one two three now we're going to go into this space created by a chain Actually, this space right here, we're gonna work three double crochet. One, if you can tell the theme is three double crochet. Two, three, and now we're gonna create a corner. So we do three double crochet in the corner. One, two, three, chain one and three double crochet one two three and then another three in this space right here one two three One, two, three, chain one, one, two, three, in the space, three double crochet again. And if you need to pause this at any time to catch up, Go ahead and do so. I'm gonna do the last corner, which is three, double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, and I'm gonna work the last three double crochet in this space right here. One, two, three and then I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two now we always want to go to the corner for our granny squares so in this one I am going to have to slip stitch to the corner so I'm just going to take it along here and I'm going to slip stitch and slip stitch and then slip stitch to the corner and then guess what I'm gonna chain two one two I'm gonna flip my work so now that I'm on the back side where we see the tail so in that space created by the chain one I'm gonna work two more double crochet one two I'm going to chain one and then do three more double crochet. So one, two, three. Space, I'm going to work three double crochet. And then another three double crochet. And then a corner, so we do three double crochet. Chain one, three double crochet. Another space, three double crochet. Another 
double cro three double crochets. Corner three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, one, two, three, three double crochets, another double crochet, double crochet. Double crochet, three double crochet, chain one, another three double crochet, another space, so three double crochet. Three double crochet. Oh snap. Three double crochet. And now I'm going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two. And I'm going to fasten off. Now we're going to work the ends in like we did before. Work those ends in like this. Hopefully you can see it. Black yarn is a little harder. Not my favorite to work with, but like I said, this, this project is a stash buster and would be a really good um, gift for a friend or even a Christmas gift, you could get it. And I suppose if you wanted to sell at markets, you could sell these at markets. Okay, and then I'm gonna work this next one in. And work it back through here. I really like working it through these humps, things that are created by the corner stitch. Those are really easy to work through. Edge of this how it turned out so if you just kind of shape it so you can leave it just like this or if you want to you can steam it on a board to flatten it to make it more even I'm lazy and I figure this is gonna get wet with condensation or whatever and so I don't want to do that we're gonna work on this border right here okay this looks like a different stitch it is so my favorite. I have used it on so many things lately. It's just, it's super easy. I'll show you how to do it. Actually going to work it on the front side that we just finished. I'm gonna do that slip knot on my hook and I'm gonna start in a corner and I'm going to work three single crochets. So first I have to slip stitch this on to my work. So here we go. Here's the slip stitch, and then I chain one. So that's gonna count as one single crochet. So now I'm going to do two more. So one, two. Okay. Now in each of the stitches around, we're going to work a single crochet. So, or as you can see, I'm working that tail in just a little bit, and then we'll work it back in when I'm ready to, to finish. So we are going to keep doing the single crochet all the way around. Okay, now that we've reached the end, we're going to slip stitch into that first and pull it through and then chain one. Now, what we're about to do is called a lobster stitch. So this is so fun. So what you do is you chain one and now you crochet backwards. So you're gonna single crochet backwards. So that first one counts as one and then the next stitch back, you stick your hook in, 
grab your yarn, pull it up, and pull it through. Stick it in the loop behind, grab it, pull it through, grab it, pull it through. There you go. And you just keep doing that around. So single crochet backwards. So stick it in the space behind, grab the yarn, pull it up, pull it through. Just keep pulling that around. And I am going to keep working this around. Take your time with your stitch. Okay, now when you get to the end, you when I get to the end, I'm going to slip stitch, so but slip stitch backwards. So I'm going to find that open space and pull it through through my loop right there and then fasten off. Okay. Now I'm going to work my ends in. So this is the tail that we worked in. So I'm going to work it back through and I'm going to work it through the strand so that it stays a little bit better. I'm going to snip it as close as I can and now I'm going to work in this other tail. I like all this extra stuff. I like the roughness of this lobster tail. It's just kind of cool and it's super easy and leaves like a huge impact on your work. One more. Okay, now I'm going to snip that close. So there's the finished project. So really, it's a short amount of time and you get a lot of bang for your buck. So you have if you want to count, we just did one, two, three, four rows to create a granny square. And then you add single crochets and then a lobster tail. Now for a gift, I have made four of them. Now I was so into what I was doing, I thought, why don't I make a hot pad as well? So I did the same, same stitches, same pattern, because it's still a granny square. Sometimes granny squares can be tricky because they, you add different colors to it. But if you count the chain twos, you can see how many rows that I've crocheted. So I actually crocheted four in the white and four in the black. So here, let me show you how to count the stitches. One, two, three, four. And then here we go. One, two, three, four and then you add the single crochets and then the lobster tail around the edge. So I wanted to make a hot pad. That's how you do it. And it makes it, let's see, if you make a hot pad, eight. So actually, let's see here. It's eight by eight. Okay, that's how big the hot pad is. And then the coaster is four and a half by four and a half. So super simple, super quick way to use up your extra yarn if you have extra yarn and don't know what to do with it. Now, if you want to make these in like the coasters and acrylic, I would recommend you do a blend of cotton and acrylic as acrylic isn't as absorbent as cotton is. That's just something to consider. I'm excited to gift these coasters and this hot pad to a loved one who will remain nameless. And if she watches this video, I don't think she's gonna watch this video, but her favorite movie is The Nightmare Before Christmas. And this was based after Jack Skellington. 
And so if you could see, here's the white and the black and then the purple. So her whole kitchen is Jack Skellington. So that I would love to see your work. If we're not friends on Instagram, please consider tagging me in your post. My Instagram is Scrappy warrior woman if you liked today's video please consider liking and subscribing and also hitting that notification bell because i release my videos on fridays and happy crocheting